it's Miss Susanna. Today we're going to make some puffy paint. So for puffy paint, you're going to need a bowl or two, probably just one, but maybe more. Some cups or a Ziploc bag if you'd like. I didn't really use a Ziploc bag, but we can use one too. And you're going to do, you're also going to need Some glue, some shaving cream, and some food coloring. So this is how the only three ingredients you need to make puffy paint. So first let's start off with our measuring cups. We have a fourth, a third, and a half today. I didn't bring out the one cup because we don't really need that one. So um, I think I'm going to do a third cup of each. So you're going to do half and half. You're going to do half glue. So you're going to add the glue and the shaving cream into the bowl first. So you'll do half. Oh, I'm going to do a third cup of glue. Just depends on how much paint you want to make, but I'm just going to make a little bit today. So we'll do one third of glue. Well, maybe we'll do two thirds, so that way we can make a couple of colors. So two thirds glue. And two thirds of shaving cream. Okay, let's open this up. If you push it down, it'll be two thirds cut. Let's use our, um, one of our measuring. It's going back to the stir today. Oh, actually, we can use a popsicle stick. That would be a good, good thing to use. So we're gonna get all the shaving cream out. This actually works really good to get it all out. And you're just gonna stir it until it mixes all up the shaving cream and the glue. Just like that. Keep mixing it. Make sure you're getting all the glue from the bottom. Up like that. Let's see, there we go. This is a better view. Keep stirring it up. And then once you think you've mixed it all up, this is when you add your food coloring. Obviously, food coloring is up. Optional, but because we are making paint, I decided to do colors. So we'll make four different colors. I'll put this about, let's get our, tea, our tablespoon out. And we can do maybe a couple scoops each. Just let's see how much fits in here. There's one. Maybe two each. Oh, you can tell the glue's already in there and it's all mixed up. This is similar to making slime, but we're doing puffy paint. And then I'll show you a project you can do, because one of my group times is about rainbow fish. So I'm gonna include this demo on how to make paint. So you can use the paint for your rainbow fish, or you can just use crayons or markers Whatever you have at home works as well. Let's see, let's put in some more in here. Actually, I'll just do three, so we can just do the primary colors, because we can always mix them to make another color. So our primary colors are yellow, red, and blue. I can't find my blue. Oh, here's my blue. And blue. So, just add a few drops. Add as many as you want, depending on how dark or you, light you want it. Right now, I'm going to add about six. Six blue. And then we'll see how the color looks. 
So I'm adding the color to the shaving cream. A couple of drops. We'll make this one green. And then you're just going to stir it up. Just like that. See, this kind of makes a light green because you're mixing it with white. So you can add a few more drops, a couple of drops, to make it a little darker if you'd like. And you just stir it up. Really good. And then the next one. Make kind of a light yellow. And our last one, the blue one. Oh, let me grab the red so we can also do the red one. And you can mix the blue. Once again, if you think you need more paint, you can grab more. And we'll do, since I have some solution left, we'll put this in here. Make some red. And we'll have four colors instead of three. I'm going to get another popsicle stick so it doesn't mix. This one's probably going to be pink, more pink than red. Add a few more drops to it. Now it's a little more red, maybe a little bit darker. All right. So I'm going to get a popsicle stick for you. Now that you're done, you have glue. So with this, you can either put in cups like I did and use paint brushes to paint, or you can put it in a plastic bag and do it like frosting, like you're piping a cake or something. Just stick it in a Ziploc bag, zip it up, tie it, and then cut the end. And then that way, you can make lines and stuff with it. But for today, I'm just gonna leave it like this because I'm going to show you a fun art project that you may want to do. I'm going to put this stuff away here. And we're going to make rainbow fish. So with this, you're just going to get a piece of paper and fold it in half and just kind of cut a shape out or I can also send you guys a shape to cut out, and you're just gonna cut around like this. And then cut in, and make a triangle at the end, the back of a triangle. And here's a fish. Very simple. So with our fish, I also have Foil, because in rainbow fish, what does the fish have? Rainbow fish has some shiny scales. So you can also use this. And I already have some pieces cut up in there for you. I just cut a, some strips off. And the kids can even cut it with the kids' scissors maybe. And I just fold it so that it'll make a bunch at one time. Just fold it like this. And then you go in and make some scales, whatever size you want to make them. I'm going to do mine a little bit bigger. And here are some scales. So after you cut your scales, you can use glue to glue them on. You can paint your fish with paint. You can use markers, you can use crayons, whatever you have at home will work to paint this or to color it. So I'm going to use our markers we just got. I'm going to get a paintbrush and 
kind of just paint him. And since this already has glue in it, you don't really need any glue for the for the scales. So we just paint it really fast. However you want to paint your fish, it doesn't have to be just like slippery fishes or like Miss Susanna's. Make it your own. There's blue. And then I'm going to get this brush, oops, this brush and put some yellow on him. And this is actually going to be like puffy paint, so it's going to puff out when you're done painting with it. It's going to look really cool. It's going to look almost 3D. Okay, add some more of this color. So pink, pinkish red. And some more blue and then you just pop the scales I'll show you my fish you just pop the scales on wherever you like just like that now he has some shiny scales just like slippery fish and since the glue glue is already in this paint, you don't have to add glue to those to pop them in. You can pop them in while the paint is wet. And here's our slippery fish, our rainbow fish. All right, thanks for watching.